Yo, what's up? How's it going? I'm here with my man Lemus. What's up, brother? What's up? Nice to see Good you, to man. see you. Hey, guys. Lemus is an up-and-coming artist in Orlando. How long have you been uh, painting professionally, would you say, at this point in your life? It's about 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. And another 10, just studying. Awesome. So you do study, study. Still studying to this point. That's what's up. So yeah. we're at the Culture Exchange, where it's actually uh, what a group of maybe four, five artists that uh, well, share the space. We've been back and forth with a collective of different artists. Okay. Right now, it's mostly about five artists that are in here, constantly working, using the space creatively. So we're actually at the Fashion Square Mall, right, basically right outside of uh, Audubon Park, and want to bring Lemus on. I actually met you uh, at the Jazz Festival That's a couple right. weeks ago at Mead Gardens, right? Yes. And we walked over to his booth. There were a lot of little pop-up places, and I immediately I saw this painting, and. I, hopefully you guys can see the you know the lines and but it just something about it grab I gravitated towards it so I I asked Lumis you know a couple questions and just I was like man I love like the vibrancy of it and I was like for some reason I thought it would it, it was someone in his life I don't know I had that intuition and I was like man is this like yeah. maybe did you like have an inspiration behind it tell me a little bit about it oh uh, totally um, my grandmother uh, Juana, you know, she was she was uh, an amazing woman to me and to the rest of the family. So, you know, elephants have always had that symbolic meaning because the female is the one that leads the pack. You know, even the males, the strongest males are actually all the way in the back. <laughs> so the female is the one that calls the shots and she always has another younger female that she's always training. And I always felt like that with all my aunties and my grandma being the lead and, uh, you know, every single time I paint an elephant, I always, you know, just think about my grandma. You know, looking at the eyes, you kind of see, and like I saw, like, the, the one eye was kind of like, was almost closed. I was like, yo, oh, man, like, did she, has she passed? And you're like, yes. yeah. she has. So uh, my, my heart goes out to you about that. Thank you. And it's, yeah. it's almost like, and then you, you told me, like, this is kind of like the, like the endearing eye, like the spirit, like mm -hmm. the tenderness. Yeah. So, With all these pieces, I always try to find that, you know, that sort of spirit that comes along with the vibrancy. It's got delicacy and at the same time it's powerful. So, you know, with colors you, you get the same thing. Reds, blues, purples, and some of the golds in there, you know, that, that regal, you know, stand off as colors. Do you have like an idea in your head of mm -hmm. inspiration beforehand or does it start, sometimes just come to you while you're doing it or? You know, with clients it's weird because you'll have one client that you could tell his spirit is, is asking for that sort of confidence that he needs in his, especially in his place, you know, or, or that certain kind of spirit in where, you know, you might have uh, interviews or you might have, you know, meetings. So you want to, you want to be like, you almost like a lion, you know, in a way. So I, I try to go for what the client is requiring, the kind of vibe that he's looking for in his place. So I, I spend a little bit of time, and I usually just get it off bat. You know? Okay. So yeah. So speaking of commission pieces and yes. lines, I would love to have yes. you show us your latest work that you just uh, finished for in front of you, right? I'd love to, man. Okay. So as you can see, we're with the lion, uh, with Lemus's new lion. What, what, do you, what do you call this piece, man? This is incredible. This is the fierce lion, you know, the fierce green lantern lion, you know. Did you just make that name up just now? Just, just now. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's what he's doing. It. <laughs> Tell yeah. me about this, man. Well, you know, my, my client, very cool guy, he uh, he owns his own law firm, and basically Paul just wanted a fierce-looking lion. He was like, Jermaine, I don't want a Jesus Christ-looking lion. This one, I wanted to come really hard with it, so, yeah. I Bob used, Ross right there, I, You know, a little Bob Ross, you okay. know, a little Bansky, everybody's in here, you know. I like the, 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 right between the eyes there. That's the third eye. Third and they're, eye. And they're right there, unification, you know, right there. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like I used all these different textures, papers, metallics, um, even even the glow in the dark, um, you know, paint, and the uh, and the lighting in the in the back of it. I also cut the piece out on this huge wood plank. Oh wow! So yeah, the whole thing is is like this whole style is completely different. And you guys did a whole mural with uh, the whole, you know, maybe like four or five of you. Uh, yes. On the wall, can we go check that out? Let's do it, man. Awesome. Let's go check it out. Hell yeah! Please. The mural is a collaboration of. Let's say about almost 10 artists in here. We have changed this mural space a couple of times. Up, period. Started with nice guy uh, Daryl over here. You got Danny Rock. You have Halsey. You got Mr. Tobar. Chris Rodriguez. 
you know, really good friend of mine. Um, we got Scare over here. Peterson is on the beat. Somebody painted on top of Peterson's work. <laughs> Joe Quilson, a very good friend of mine, very spiritual um, guy, guy to me. I try to, yeah, this guy right here, he's very spiritual dude. He's kind of like my guy, you know, one of those those guys that I think went on for that, you know. That was me. Yeah, he's got some stories, man. <laughs> This is all his work here. Yeah, you got Nazi Lemus, you know what I mean? You had to get them in there, you know? The owl. By the way, you have to go and check out my owl in Kissimmee. It's a 50 foot owl that I did. And uh, actually, I sold it because of this little owl right here. And so, yeah, that helped out. This is Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz is another fantastic artist here, you know? And then to finalize it, you have um, special sons. And then Don Rinks, the phenomenal artist traveling all over the world. Check out the, the arms are like wood and stuff. Yeah. yeah, all the wood, the beats, you know. Uh, as a matter of fact, this this uh, this dude that plays, he came here to look at, at this particular uh, mural. So okay. this is all dedication piece to the community. Thanks so much, man. No, man. Thank awesome. you guys for having me. Next time. See you guys.